Emily, are you hungry? Huh? You hold on. I'll just tilt this ball a little bit so you don't choke. You're gonna take the whole bottle. Cause I don't know when your mom's gonna wake up, if ever. There you go. <laughs> I hope there's no like QT where I accidentally drop the baby or something. Oh god. Oh, good job, Emily. Hmm? You're feeling good now, right? <laughs> now, I'm gonna rock you very gently so you can have a nice little snooze. Okay. Gently. Okay. Slowly. Unlike the last time where I fucked up the bottle. I should just, like, shake her violently. <laughs> See what happens there. Alright, here you go, kiddo. Right. That's about the limit of my maternal powers. Poor kid. Life ain't gonna be easy for her. Yeah, especially now with this mom. But we'll deal with her. Alright. I should, like, looking after my baby. clean the bathroom for you? I mean, that could happen. I didn't want to leave her. I just couldn't cope anymore. Just not having Jeremy around. He was such a good boy. I can't understand why anyone would want to hurt him. Do you take care of this baby on your own? Doesn't Jeremy's father live with you anymore? He disappeared. The day after Jeremy. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe... Maybe he couldn't take it. Ever since I've had to look after Emily all on my own and... I couldn't do it anymore. I understand. Did your husband say anything before he disappeared? Did he leave a note or something? No. He left the house without a word and... There was just the cell phone. Cell phone? A cell phone? Yeah, I, I found a cell phone in his dresser. I'm sure... It wasn't his. I'd never seen it before. I tried to turn it on, but it didn't work. Do you still have it? Yeah, it's, um... It's in a drawer. In the living room. You can have it if you'd like. I'm sure it's of more use to you than to me. Do you have any family or anybody to help you? Yeah. My mother. I didn't want to ask her for anything. We don't really get along. But I guess I'm out of options. Well, look after yourself. And Emma. I will. I promise. Okay, I still want to do you a solid and drain your fucking bathtub. In the, in the living room. That's what Susan said. It won't even let me try. <laughs> It won't even let you look at the angle of it. Alright, so obviously the father had to go on his own little hunt. And it didn't work out for him. Good luck, Emily. I'm actually amused that he actually, like, tapped her. Good luck, Emily. Pats the baby. 
All right, can we go through the front door now? Plot twist. Now they get killed by random thugs because I left their front door unlocked. get to be Ethan again. Reminder, move quickly. The whole controller in the indicated direction. Ugh. But is it like legitimately I lift it upwards or do I flick it forward instead in that direction? Let's hope no one's life or, or like relies on that. Parking lot ticket in the origami figure leads to this garage. What am I gonna find here? A car? Can't stop thinking about that well. Sean seemed exhausted. But at least he's alive. I'll do anything to get him out of there. At least he's alive? Dude, that could have been like days ago. Sean could be very well dead. He should be dead. Again, hypothermia. Kid's not gonna be able to survive inside of cold water for like days on end. Just in time for them to drown. I'm just Excuse saying. Me? Hey! Oh! Huh! Sorry. Didn't see you. Uh, what can I do you for? You look kind of like a zombie, dude, but here. I'd like to get... my car. I like how knowing that guy's face was. Hey, you're a pretty patient Don't guy, you it. are. That car's been there for two years. We took it out for a drive every month and check the tires and batteries, just like you said. Here, it's the third floor down. The service elevator is at the far end of the garage. <laughs> I just want to see how long I can Thanks. hold it. Oh, you have yourself a good one, Chief. Thanks, buddy. The car's been here for two years. What does that mean? Well, more than likely, that means the last two years, the killer's been using the car on and off, allowing people to kind of take it for themselves. Or maybe he uses it when the people at this garage aren't looking. I, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe he has like five cars. Or 20 cars for all the different kids they planned on killing. Scratch my face and I'm like, wait, okay, remembering controls. Dozens of cars. For which one am I looking for? Well, if I press the button, they'll work out, but I can probably guess it from the fact that most of these cars look exactly the same. Like it's probably one of these cars in the back. Eh, look at that. What if this had been like a really old car that didn't have an automatic lock? You kind of be shit out of luck with that. You'd have to like try every single door. Nope, that's what I wanted to do. All right, what do we got? Did that not work? Is there nothing of use in this car?
just a GPS, I suppose. Although it looks more like a fucking holder of mint. On up, there we go. I gotta look in the right direction. Your destination is four miles from here. Leave the parking lot and take the first right. I like to imagine that that GPS has been sitting here for two years with that destination set, but I still believe that the killer probably comes down to this car every once in a while. And that the people at this parking garage just don't know it. Or maybe they do. Turn right, Ethan, into the killer's trap. Have I reached the destination, or did I run out of gas? You have reached your destination. Uh, Are you ready to show your courage in order to save your son? What? Listen carefully. Take the highway and drive against the traffic for five miles. If you haven't reached your destination in five minutes, you will have me. Well, shit! I can do it. I'd do anything to save my son. Okay, let's go! If I succeed, I'll get more letters for the hangman. It's my only need. No turning back now. Five miles! Let's rumble! Go the wrong way on the highway for five miles? Am I willing to take that risk in order to save my son? Duh, let's go! I've got to do it. For Sean's sake. I have no choice. All right, let's see if I can effectively dodge cars or just die straight away and not learn anything about Ethan anymore. Come on! Left! To the right! Oh, Jesus Christ. Like I said, anything relying on me fucking using the motion controls did it get us killed. Okay, it is me fucking going back and forth, not up and down. Wait, but that one is? I'm gonna fucking die. I hate the motion controls. God damn it. I'm fucking it up. Cause I'm like repeating the same fucking motions and then the game goes, nope, that one didn't work. Like that. What the fuck? <laughs> now I'm just full focused onto this. Oh god, a toll booth? I was able to back up quick. Yeah, but what about these cops? Now they're gonna sit there and be like, What's up, dude? Don't mind me, just killing the hard-working people of this city! Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I accidentally hit the touchpad and I fucked up! Oh, fuck! Oh, God, they're shooting their guns at me now? Can you not? No, oh, fuck, I'm losing the control of the fucking controller! I don't even know if you can survive that. Press the 
Fine, I'm pressing the screen. I could have like just not done that and just beat the GPS up and These fucking upside down controls are messing with me, man. We lost our, uh, our car pretty immediately. That's fine, we have the other one. The one that we actually own. What the fuck? Did I fail? The hell did I just do? <laughs> he like punched the air above him. At least the car didn't belong to us, so they can't just track it back down to me. Your son hasn't died from hypothermia yet. They're pretty resilient. Jesus. Yeah, let's get away from this crash before we get arrested. I wonder if I had, like, succeeded, would the car still be fine? I know that this is, uh... There are a lot of things in this game that you can fail in terms of the QTEs, and, like, the same results will still happen by the end. Because you have a lot of those videos online where they're just like, all right, put the controller down and the game just plays itself. <laughs> all these like super high tense moments and you don't know which one's gonna get you killed, which one's not. That one was really annoying because of just like, I would move my controller all the way left like it was trying to tell me and it would just say, nope, you didn't do it. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then I'd move it all the way right and it would be like, you did it, good job. It's like, make up your mind, buddy. Is this the same hotel we were just staying at? The reception. Let's hope they've got a room left. That'd be convenient. I'm worn out. The atmosphere I gotta here sleep. Is of concern, as there is still no news of 10-year-old Sean Mars who disappeared yesterday. A recent report indicates that the police are now treating this as another kidnapping by the origami killer. If this information is confirmed, he may still be alive as the previous victims were all killed three to five days after their abduction. Obviously, time is running out fast for the investigators trying to find the child. I'm Michael Netty, KCA. How did you? Hello there, sweetheart. Wow, you're creepy immediately. What can I do for you? Hi there, buddy. I'd like a room. For you, anything. Feeling the register. Are you chewing gum or are you just naturally creepy with your mouth? 
Also, did I just sign, like, a fucking all the way at the bottom of an empty page? That's inefficient. Madison, page 27. Single. How long will you be staying with us, Ms. Page? I don't know yet. Room 201. Last floor, stairs on the right, in the courtyard. Thank you, buddy. Thanks. The pleasure was all mine. That's for sure. <laughs> okay. That obnoxious receptionist better not have a spare key to my room. The thought of it leaves me in a cold sweat. Room 201. Stairs on the right, last floor. It's okay, I can use... Like, if this is a normal building, I can just keep on going from here. Excuse. Room 201. Stairs on the right, last floor. I just want to. I don't want to keep walking in the rain. It's fast to go up these staircases. Howdy. You having a smoke, man? I could use one. Lord knows every single character in this game is like super stressed out. Room two o one. Stairs on the right, last floor. Stairs on the right, last floor. Room two o one. Stairs on the right, last floor. Okay, that would be this one. I would believe. But maybe I got the layout of this this place wrong. There's someone there. Is he... Is he wounded? Who? What? Oh! It's Ethan! Room 201. That's not what I wanted. Stairs on the right, last floor. Maybe I should take a look. Yeah, maybe I should go take a look. Hey, buddy! Sir? <sighs> Are you alright? I'll call an ambulance. No ambulance. You're badly hurt. You need a doctor. Please, just help me to my room. It's number 207. All right, Ethan, little boy. We'll get you to your room, and maybe you'll just collapse and die. Have you got the key? Yeah. Mm -hmm.